Hi there. Having problems with your iTunes store? It doesn't work? Keep crashing, connectings, or any other problems that you might be facing on your iPhone? Don't worry, in today's video, I'll give you guys an easy way to solve it. So, let's go. To solve iTunes store is not working on iPhone, the first thing we need to do, head over to settings and iPhone, scroll down, tap general, scroll down here, select date and time. Make sure your date and time is synced properly with your iPhone. Go back to your main settings again. This time around, we gotta go to the general. Select that and now select iPhone storage. Find out the iTunes store from here. There you are. Select the apps, select offload, select offload again, and then tap reinstall app. Now, this might take some time, but if this takes more than enough time, but you see your apps is not offloading, then you will have to be 100% certain this problem is happening for the internet. In that case, you can always enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds for the quick restart for the network, and then you can turn it off. Or what I really recommend you guys to do, you can switch your network. Let's say you are using Wi-Fi, then you can go back to mobile data, or if you are using mobile data, then you can simply go back and turn in your Wi-Fi to see if that works or not. The next thing we're going to talk about is the restrictions for the application. So you can always go to the settings on your iPhone, uh, come to the main setting page, and here we got to head over to the screen time, select content and privacy restrictions. So make sure to disable the content and privacy restrictions right on your iPhone. And next things we are going to take a look at guys is nothing but the Apple ID for itself. So what you guys can do, you can either open up your iTunes store if it's already logged in. I highly recommend you guys to log out from the iTunes store and after that just re-log in again to see if that works or not. Or you can do the last work which will definitely work for you unless you have the problem to the network. You can simply delete the apps entirely from your iPhone and then reinstall it back again directly from your app store and hope that would work for sure on iPhone. Still have questions? Please drop it in the comment section to get further help. See you guys soon.